Welcome to episode 197. This week we show you around Penang. Pretty much just eating our way around. So if you're not hungry now, you will be after watching this. Wild and free, baby, we can dream farther than our eyes have ever seen. It's easy to keep fit here. There are lots of great parks and paths right near the marina, which means yoga in the park is how we start most days. Here we are in Penang, and uh, do you know what the name of this street is? No idea. It's called Love Lane. Aww. So we just had some yummy Mexican and uh, just gonna have a walk through the streets because we're in Georgetown and we haven't been here before. Just had a bit of holy guacamole. Holy guacamole, a little margarita. It was delicious. Nice very little good. town, I must say. It's very nice. Georgetown is the capital of Penang here in Malaysia and named after King George III. This colourful city is full of history and culture. Georgetown was the first British settlement in Southeast Asia. Hence the colonial style of a lot of the buildings here. There are plenty of tucked away, funky little places scattered throughout the town. This being a favorite for Bella. And on Sundays, this place turns into a popular little market. Georgetown is rich in diversity and culture. It's also known for its street art. Okay, so we are at an art lane. And um, I haven't been here before, I don't know what's in there. I'm guessing art. Let's go take a look. This lane is designated for artists to express themselves on the walls. Yeah, 
haven't had enough sweets today. We just come to China House to order some cake. <laughs> All we do here is walk around and eat. The street food here is really cheap and super tasty. This is Chandel, a popular local dessert. It's shaved ice, some kind of coconut milk and like jelly noodles, red beans. Let's give it a go. And I'll be honest, it doesn't look that appetizing. Uh, a little bit of The streets are full of colour and character and so much food to try. These are shaved ice balls with ice cream in the middle and flavouring on the outside. In Australia, we call something similar to these snow cones, but without ice cream in the middle. The ice cream is a great addition. For those fellow Aussies, it tastes like a giant splice. Dang, ice ball. We spent days walking and eating around Georgetown, as you saw. If you like food, you can't go wrong here. So tonight we're having dinner at uh, the Hawkers. Penang is famous for their Hawkers and uh, really good food. And we're just going to walk around and find something that looks yummy and we'll order some dinner. The Hawker food stalls are a street food marketplace with loads of different food options. Most of the usual foods and some are for the more adventurous. We didn't eat anything crazy, but what we had was delicious. Prices vary, but you can definitely eat really cheaply. You can grab a meal from anywhere between 5 and 12 ringgits, which is about a dollar fifty to a six Australian dollars. Alright guys, we've just had some spring rolls. I'm just gonna head over here, Shark Hotel. It's a local Malaysian food here in Penang. This is the sort of the go-to, you can't go wrong. Good flavours. thin and crispy. Oh yeah. I don't know what it's called. And so good. Are you gonna share? Um, so that was really yummy. Yummy dinner. I think this is our favourite hawkers we've been to so far and it's like 
five minutes down the road from where we are, so. We're on a, a tour of the Spice Gardens. We've got our guide here. This is Ben. Hey! <laughs> and Hallie. Uh, not me going through for 200 oh, years. They, come they couldn't go the that way Islands. because mm. there was piracy. Yeah, and um, also, you know, uh, next to Lang Kaui, what's the Thai island? Not Koh Lipe, the one behind it. Ko... Yeah. Yeah, yeah there was the original prison. Uh, it, was a, it was a prison island and that's why they put crocodiles there. It was a natural open air prison yeah. and uh, when the wars broke out the government stopped financing the prison so the guards and the prisoners were stuck on the island. So the original piracy in the region started from that island because they had nothing so they had to rob ships as they went past. <laughs> and that's how they started and then they got the ships and then they started ro uh, the piracy in the Malacca Strait. Wow! wow. Cinnamon is the oldest spice of the world. Is it turtle? Turtle. Oh, I love turtles. You think that's strong enough to hold it? Oh, there's another one swimming. Hey! Oh, there's heaps. Do you reckon that one's stuck? Yeah. <laughs> Look at their little yellow head. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ye
doing with that thing? <laughs> what are you doing? Stop it. After our walk, you could probably guess what we did next. That's right, more yummy food. And man, was it tasty. delicious. Cheers for watching guys, like, subscribe and we will see you next time.